Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, today we are going to make our own custom gradient. So I'm going to name this Custom and Gradient. Friends, we are going to build with a cube, and then I want you to grow it by holding shift, stretching it out, and then the number we're gonna type is 60. Now you may have a different number that fits what you're building, I just like 60. And then I'm gonna make each layer of my gradient one millimeter thick. Friends, this part is so slick because it's set at a one millimeter snap grid, we can do control D, control up, and the next one's in the correct spot. Without touching anything else, let's just do control D again and again. The more of these gradients you do, the cooler it turns out but also it does take more time so real quickly let's count how many layers i have chosen if we select them all you can see there are 34 shapes i'm gonna let you do however many you want i am gonna do less than that just to make this faster but by the time we're done you'll understand the process friends this starts by creating the awesome gradient i'm gonna tell you to type gradient hex we're going to choose the one called Colors with two O's. Make sure you choose that one. Friends, on this screen, you can click and set your colors so you can just come over and drag them to where you want. I'm going to pick my end color. I'm going to make it something in the purples. Drag it to where I want. I want it to be a darker purple so that there's more of a distance. Bingo, I like that. This would be a seven chunk gradient. I am going to make mine, I'm going to make mine 25 and press enter now this is where it gets wicked cool you just click and it copies the number at that point we return to tinkercad click on the bottom one choose custom double click Control v press enter and you've got your first gradient in place now we just go back and we repeat the process click on the second one to copy that color switch to your design click the second piece click the color Double click, control V, press enter, and repeat that all the way up your project. You can see here I set my screens to half and half so it makes it a little easier. I'm going to move over to number three, one, two, three, and just repeat the process again and again. Double click, control V, press enter. One thing I just figured out for figuring out where you were. If you remember the letter B, you can find that that's the one you had, so it's easier to click the next one. So this will be the second B when I come back here. Switch, double click, control V, press enter, and then A9 is the one I'm looking at. So if I come over here, B, A9 was last, and bingo, you're able to switch between them a lot faster. Double click, control V, those keyboard shortcuts are so handy. All right, everybody, so there is my awesome gradient. I'm going to take these that are extra, and I'm just going to delete them. And then we can also do this. I'm going to go back to full screen. Don't forget, colors.com. It is amazing. And then I am going to double this. So watch closely. Work plane on top. Select it all. Control D and press D to drop. Now, what I think is awesome is to have it go from light to dark and then back from dark to light. So if we don't click anything else and just flip it, boom, there is our wicked cool gradient. Friends, that's all there is to making one. I'm going to select this and do control G to group it. You do have to wait a moment as these can be pretty large and then make sure you turn on multicolor. Friends, I have just decided I'm going to give this design away. So I'm going to change this to purple gradient. To make things public, you click on the Tinkercad button to back out. That is what saves it. Click on the gear, click on the properties. I've already got it named Purple Gradient. In the description, of course, I'm going to mention the tutorial and other ways you can track me down. Friends, as you add tags, don't forget if you type HLMT23, that is a special tag. I check that tag almost daily to see the cool designs that people are sharing with me. Then you simply go down and make it public, and then usually I tell you no derivatives, but today I'm going to say let's share these with everybody. So you can hit attribution, share a like, hit save changes, and boom, other people can use it, and of course, other people can follow the tutorial as well. 
All right, everybody, so that's what the gradient looks like, and this is how you can use them. Friends, this is a separate tutorial. I'll make sure there's a link up above. It uses built-in gradients, but now you can also make your very own gradients. I also want to send a huge shout-out to Tinker Tesla. It was her idea for me to make this tutorial. Friends, as I wrap up, let me remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got the page dedicated to Tinkercad with a ton of awesome categories. And then right below it, the first day lessons. These are great for anybody that's just starting out in Tinkercad. Friends, I also want to highlight the super cool built-in messaging. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are more than 600 members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.